name is Charlotte Ashford. Uh, I studied abroad at the Alliance for Global Education Program in Shanghai, China, um, at Fudan University during the during the Chinese language and culture track. Um, I had only had about one semester of Mandarin before I got to China, and I'd never been to China before. And I just knew for studying abroad, I wanted something that was really different. Um, I'd been to Western Europe. Uh, I traveled a little bit, but I wanted something that was really going to put me out of my element and just challenge me. Um, and I definitely was challenged when I first got there. Um, I had a lot of trouble with the language. I couldn't understand anything. I couldn't read anything when I first got there. Uh, I was just really frustrated. Luckily, the, all the other students were going through the exact same thing. Um, and so I was, I was pretty comfortable. Um, and they were all just as outgoing and excited about China as I was. Um, also, having our Chinese roommates that live with us were really helpful. They um, showed us around the, our neighborhood and would help us with our homework if we needed or take us to go do things with their friends. So that was really great, especially in the beginning. Um, and then about three or four weeks in, uh, things started to click and I was remembering some of the Chinese and uh, picking up things on the side of the street. I knew, I knew where um, my, the best dumpling restaurant was or the best place to go get your your clothes repaired or whatever it is, you know. Um, one of my favorite memories of being in China was uh, volunteering at a migrant school teaching English just outside of this city. We'd go there about once a week and another volunteer and I would, would lead a class of about 40 fifth graders um, and just teach them, try and teach them about American culture, English grammar, all these sorts of things. Um, I was really excited going into it because I thought, okay, um, I have so much to teach these kids. I'm giving them such a great opportunity. This will be really fun. Uh, what I found was they really challenged me. I had to become a lot more confident with my Chinese speaking, um, considering I had to use a lot of Chinese in the class to explain things. Um, it was also really fun because we played games with each other and um, just coming up with things like that to do together was really fun. Um, we also would, would bring in and teach them about American holidays, American sports, uh, music bringing pictures of banjos. Uh, what was really cool is that any time I did that or we did that, they would immediately share something about their Chinese New Year or their most famous athletes or uh, things like that. So I ended up learning a lot about Chinese culture. Also just from being there, it gave me a different perspective on Shanghai. Um, gave me an insight into the way the school systems worked, got to know some of the teachers. So uh, that was something that was really interesting. It wasn't just me being a student in Shanghai. I was seeing another side of it. Um, another thing that was really great was working on the capstone project. And that sounds silly because it's, uh, it was a school assignment, but um, really forced us again to get out into the community um, and challenge my Chinese speaking ability. Um, for my project, I interviewed a lot of uh, women in China. And um, I remember one morning going to watch the elderly community where they do Tai Chi in the parks and dance and morning exercises. Um, just having to stop and talk to some of them and interview them in Chinese. Uh, so I was really nervous, but uh, it was just a really fun, fun experience doing that. Uh, one of my other uh, most favorite memories from being in China was um, the Alliance trip to Yunnan province. Um, it was a really, really special tour. We visited all over the province. Um, we started out in southern and southern uh, Yunnan province and went river rafting. Um, and visited some tea plantations, uh, went hiking. Uh, it was just a really beautiful part of China. Um, we also went up to the mountains in Yunnan province and stayed with an ethnic minority group. Um, one of my favorite memories is playing, uh, playing basketball with them, uh, Alliance versus the, the guys, some of the guys in the, in the village. Uh, they of course beat us badly, but um, but it was just ended up being a really fun memory. So um, that was just another way, like I said, to get a really good uh, another another picture of China. Um, just there's a lot of minority groups that live there in Yunnan Province, so it was very different from the very um, uh, urbanized city center that Shanghai is. Um, after I got back, uh, all I could think about was how I was going to get back to China and just really, really excited about continuing to study Chinese. Um, so that three and a half month period was just enough to really expose me, but also make me want to go back for more. 
Um, it's an experience I, experience I wouldn't trade for the world. And if you have any questions about going or are on the, on the fence about it, please feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to answer any questions about my experience or suggestions for, uh, for traveling in the area. So um, feel free to contact me and good luck with all of your travels. Thanks.